Hi all, today in this video I will show you what is artifact concept in Jenkins and how can we use it. So to show it, let's create a new item, a new job, and uh, it will be just artifact generator. It's free style. These tasks should, uh, shouldn't do anything. We will run just one execute shell command, and this command will create a file with some text data. So we will put this text to file.txt, let's save it and run. So task is finished, let's check it. Console output success and let's check our project in workspace. Here in workspace we see that we have this file.txt and uh, with text hello, everything fine. But what we can change here, this uh, file it's it saved in workspace. And it's not uh, what we want because sometimes after build uh, there are a huge number of uh, different file results. There might be some tests, uh, screenshot, uh, builds, uh, different uh, code coverage files and uh, a lot of other. But from all this we need just one file. If it's jar, it might be some jar file. If it uh, it's React, we need just the build folder. So we want to add this file on our main page we need to public it in our project so how can we do it let's go to configure it and after that uh, we get uh, we can change post build actions and uh, we will add archive the artifact and uh, here we will put uh, what we need to archive it's the same file txt let's save it and uh, let's run it again let's reload it and after reload we see that uh, here we see the last successful artifacts and it's the same file. Let's open it and it's the same file. And what is important and interesting part, it's this uh, link. It's a permanent link built on the last successful build part. So it doesn't matter how many times I will run this task and reload uh, our artifact or generate something new, there always will be this link this link always will be available and uh, it will show the file to, from the last successful build. So you can add this file to documentation or as part of another build or pipeline or you can share it. It always will be accessible. Okay, so how can we use it in this file? Let's um, pass this artifact to another job. So let's create a new job. It will be artifact receiver freestyle. So this project, this project will be empty. It should shouldn't do anything. Just to copy copy one artifact from one task to another one. And uh, let's do it. Build. It will be okay. We would copy our artifact from one task to another one. But here in build step, we do not see any accept acceptable option. And that's why because that's why because we have no plugin for copy artifacts. Let's go to manage Jenkins, manage plugin, plugin, manage plugins, and here we will and here we will copy and install copy artifact. Let's install it without restart. So it's success and now let's go to our artifact receiver task, configure it. And in build, we want to copy artifact from another project. Let's choose it. Here we will put the project name, artifact generator, which build we want to last successful build, and the artifacts to copy it will be our file.txt. Here we can add additional configuration, what not copy, target directory, but we don't need it. Let's save it and run it. It was successful. Let's open it. Console output success and uh, back to project. Let's see. Now open our workspace and here we see file.txt. So this task didn't create it, it just copied from another project. So why do we need it? Task can generate uh, a huge number of files and it takes a lot of time. It, it might take uh, more than five or ten minutes. So in this case, we can add some uh, performance improvement um, in one task we can generate some big big files which are needed in another one and in another task we do not generate it again we just can copy from one task to another one and use it in uh, our new task for example if it's a huge uh, test uh, 
lot of tests or some DLL file, we can build it in one task, then copy to another one, and uh, then run these task tests uh, and use it use this DLL in another task project file. And that's how we can use um, artifacts. That's it. Thank you.